All right, in today's video, we're gonna show you how to turn this terrible lawn into this. It's amazing lawn in less than 48 hours. Hi everyone, my name is Cyrus. Welcome back to the channel. Now last year, Perfect Turf Vancouver helped me install a world-class putting green in my backyard. If you're interested to view that video, you can click the link right above here. It's on my main YouTube channel page. However, this year we're excited to have a new project. My wife and I are going to tackle our pesky weeds in the front yard and Perfect Turf Vancouver is gonna help us make this amazing transformation. Right, so here's a little overview of the project that we got. So uh, my wife and I, you know, we have built these nice flower boxes boxes here and for a little garden here we've decided to put in a little garden on this side got the garden in the middle another garden bed over here but you can see our lawn is very unique you know it's a unique piece of grass it's a lot of different sections that we have but like most lawns you know we just have a lot of weeds we have a lot of problem keeping a very good lawn you can see the different types of weeds and uh, cloves that are here um, and one of the issues that we have is that we're just not getting enough sunlight here. So we don't have enough sunlight to grow good grass. So this just really led us to believe that the best option moving forward is just to put in some artificial turf. So we're really excited to work again with Perfect Turf Vancouver to improve this front lawn, to just make it beautiful. There's a lot of beautiful elements in this front yard. Unfortunately, the main grass is not one of them. But once we get this new turf grass installed, I think it's going to complement our garden area here really well. And really going to be a nice addition to the house here. All right, stage one is certainly removing the old sod. We got the boys working hard this morning. We got the sod removal machine there, and followed by cutting it into individual pieces and removing all the sod. Already starting to look better. Soon we'll be opening this window to a new front yard. Work in progress. All the initial sod has been cut. Next stage is removal. Brad, what's, what's different in this project when we're looking at the front yard? Is this a little bit more complex for you guys? No, I'd say this is a, this is a pretty standard front yard for us. We'll dig it all out, um, replace it with crushed rock. That's going to get some proper drainage in there, but it's a little bit different than the uh, backyard putting green, how we do things. Um, but uh, pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty straightforward install. It's going to be a big turnaround from all the clover and dandelions in the front yard here for you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. This is the crushed rock that's going to go in and form the base for the artificial turf here today. A little bit of rain this morning, not going to hinder the removal process. And as we set this rock in, all right, when we're looking out the window here, and already a big improvement on the front yard. This is step one, just after about two hours of work. They've leveled off the ground, they've removed all of the old sod that was there, most specifically all those pesty weeds and clovers that were dominating the front yard. All right, let's have a look. Stage two is now almost complete creating a fantastic base. This is the gravel foundation that the entire artificial grass will lie on. Now one of the key features obviously to make the grass perfect is that you have to get this level. So making sure this is compacted nice, leveling it off, making sure it's nice and even takes a lot of work. You can see a lot how intricate this work is going to be. They're gonna to have to do a lot of cutting and seaming to go around these plates and boxes and stuff. You can also see why how difficult this is to grow grass in these small areas like this. So they're gonna seam this up and make it look just perfect. All right, day one is drawn to a close and we can already see a huge improvement. Just the gravel base has been installed today. But a huge improvement from all the weeds and clovers that dominated this front yard before. Can't wait for it. day two tomorrow. And right here in the back truck, we've got the good stuff. This is going to be the green that will be installed today. Very excited for step two. You can see this nice plastic railing that has been installed. This is going to be the nice edging to form on the front yard here. And we are going to carpet this thing in the most beautiful artificial turf and complete this front yard to match the beautiful gardens that we have here and complete our front yard masterpiece today. All right, here we have the crew measuring and cutting some of this world-class turf grass, getting ready for the install. Let's go take a look. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon on the second day of installation, and we can see some huge progress made already. Just look at the difference here on how pure this front yard looks. The buddy's working hard here. 
Now, you can see part of the thing that makes this project very unique is we have a lot of angles, a lot of like this box here, we've got the angles here. So there's a lot of intricate detail work. Okay, you can see also why this is so difficult to grow grass in these areas here. We're gonna check in with our buddy here. Yeah, How's good. it going? Doing good. Doing how, good. how are these edges going? Is it pretty yeah. tough to work around these small edges? Uh, not really, just nailing it. It's not too much of a hard part. Just trying to keep it as flush to the, to the edge. Yeah, it's nice. That's kind of the hard part, so. so this is our water meter box. You can see obviously we have to go around that. It was very like, intricate. Yeah. Right and this light post as well that we're going to go around. So you can just see all the little detail work. The nice thing with these is they're going to patch these and just make this as seamless as possible. And we can look at this uh, turf grass. Very thin material here, but nice and lush here. This is a good two inches. And the next step after they finish the install, they're gonna put sand on here and power blast the sand in here. It's gonna really make the grass pop out and look great. Got the A-team here today. All four of the guys here working hard. This gentleman here was on the installation last year on the backyard, did a great job in that putting green. Yes, sir. Yeah, working hard again. You can see how narrow this is already, the shade in here. Just can't grow real grass in there. But now we don't have to worry about that. And this is gonna look great. This is our, my wife's um, little garden area that we wanted to keep. So we just put a nice little stone board around there. It's gonna look great. Yeah. Brad, looking good. You and, the, you and the boys, you're doing a great job. It's coming together. Lots okay. of pieces, but it's coming. Oh yeah. All right, so we have it officially installed all of the turf. We've seamed all of the edges. Now the next step is to sand it. 28 bags of sand are going to go in to this turf. You can see some of the remains of the sand here. So the sand's going to go in the turf and then they're going to blast the sand and it's going to basically make all of the grass stand up pretty straight. Give it that nice full fresh look. All right, and that's bag one. 27 more to go. All right and we're rounding the finishing corner here guys. This is the front new, this is the new front yard. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's behind the scenes look at how Perfect Turf Vancouver helped transform our front lawn. It's been about a month since the renovation and my wife and I couldn't be more happy. Our front lawn is now perfect and most importantly, it's given us more time to enjoy the simple things in life like working in our garden and playing with our kids. Now, if you're in the lower mainland and you're interested in having some artificial turf installed in your home, give Perfect Turf Vancouver a follow. You can click down in the description to below to view their website or view them on Instagram. Again, my name is Cyrus. Thank you for watching this video. Click that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.